first of all, giving all honor and glory to God. You understand me? It's Friday. I forgot what date it is, but it is goddamn Friday. And I just wanted to say this. If it seems like I have a problem with a lot of you content creators out there, it's because I do. But at the same time, it's nuance in it, right? And the nuance is this. It's, you might not even be the problem. Personally, it's a cultural problem. It's the problem with content creation in a whole. I, it's bittersweet. I love it and I hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because I am able to make money. I have made money off of my content. And that's the beautiful part of creating content. He's creating something and making money off of it. Damn, that feels good. To get that look, the red deposit hit, and you don't forgot. Oh, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the one, 200, 300, 400. Five, six, you know what I'm saying? I've gotten many little special drops. You know what I'm saying? Even some personal checks for what I do in my personal life, right? With my content or just with my brand. You know what I'm saying? And trying to build it and trying to be a break between niggas and mental health in different ways. And that's why I've been, up, I, I've been able to, to parlay that shit over and just trying to build, trying to organically build. You know what I'm saying? I had to I had to strip my algorithm too. Which the algorithm is another problem that I got, because that's my op. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Bree Moore, my classmate. Y'all, hey, y'all go make sure y'all follow Bree Moore Productions on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. You understand me? If you like black women and, 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 and talk that shit, you know what I'm talking about? And she thick as hell. Y'all go over there and go do that. Fellas, y'all go over there. Plug her shit. Ladies, y'all like that cultural shit? Y'all like that fashion shit? Y'all go over there to Breed More Productions. You understand me? On uh, 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 some South Dallas shit. You know what I'm talking about? And she's the first person I, I heard say this shit that the algorithm is the op. And it is. And then... Another one of my good brothers, you know what I'm talking about, out of Kansas City. Shout out to my good brother Strong. He recommended a book called Race After Technology. Right? And I'm reading the book. And that's my issue with a lot of this shit is in that book. A lot of this shit that, that is the problem that I have as a content creator. No, I ain't got means or whatever. It don't matter. If you out here in this game of constant creation and you are trying to get your shit bubbling and you got to find that journey of finding your niche and find, a, find your way to do this and do that to get shit cracking, you know what I'm saying? You have to understand the game from the inside out. Right? You have to. That's a part of it. That's a part of your homework. It's understanding the game from the inside out. Uh, from the SEOs to, 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 to all that shit, right? And a lot of you niggas don't do anything creative. A lot of you niggas are not talented. A lot of you niggas ain't really got no purpose for even doing this shit. It's just the fact that you do have a camera. Everybody got a camera and a phone. Y'all be doing this shit. And then, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I. You know what I'm saying? And the weird thing is now that people who, who don't have no talent get celebrated like people who do have talent. You feel what I'm saying? It's folks who've been talented for their whole life. They never got the dress through. It's a nigga who ain't talented at all. That get shit cracking. You know what I'm talking about? Get shit cracking quick. And I guess I'm assuming that because it's more non-talented people than the others. I think everybody has a gift. Everybody has a, has, has a talent and a purpose and all that good shit. But here's the... It's, just, it's as simple as this. I make it simple with people because sometimes I get long-winded. It's simple as this. Everybody sounds the same. 
Everybody does the same shit. If it's one thing that's annoying to me personally, that's a pet peeve, is doing the same shit creatively. It bothers me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be nothing like you niggas, man. Like Max B said in that Vine video, nigga, I don't want to be nothing like you niggas. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to walk like you niggas, talk like you niggas, think like you niggas, be like y'all. If I'm going this way, I'm going that way. That's how I feel about content creation. I try my best to be creative and do shit brand new. And one of the things you gotta understand when you're doing shit new is that everybody not gonna feel you because number one, people are are, are very reluctant to brand new shit because it's 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 as um as human beings we're conditioned to be in rhythms and patterns and shit like that. So something that's brand new that's disruptive, people are at, are at first for a minute are going to be. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. So, you know, yeah, a personal thing, it's, it's natural. It's supposed to happen. It's human beings. You know what I'm saying? But the bullshit is somebody won't even listen to the shit. That's why when it's somebody brand new with some music and I fuck with it, I'm going to tweet them out. I'm going to repost them. I'm going to send them a shout out. I'm not, I, I don't have to know that brother from a can of paint. I know them, but it, I, hey, I fuck with it. I'm posting this shit. There it is. And that's how it should go. It shouldn't be no, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, no. No, man. That's how, like, that is what keeps the culture rich. It's other creatives recognizing, say, let me go right doing some fly shit. A lot of y'all niggas is haters. And if something don't go your way, or it's something that you don't like, you want to even fuck with it. And you ain't even get a chance. Sometimes I post shit I don't even fuck with. Because somebody may fuck with it, or it might need time. Or I look at it for a minute like, all right, cool, now I fuck with it. Because I gotta have an understanding creatively of where that person coming from or what they doing. But that's not a thought process. That's not a thought process that everybody goes through. You know what I'm saying? I can't help it. That's the way I've been thinking like that since I was a child. I was born from creatives. Everybody in my family is creatives, nigga. Everybody. Creatives and free thinkers. So I, 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 I'm only going to be born to do my own thing my own way. And push my line about doing my own thing my own motherfucking way. And don't give a fuck. Cause fuck you nigga, nigga who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell me, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of attitude everybody should have about their content, man. It's pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Cause it's the journey involved with it. I love this shit, man. I love this shit. You, you gotta love this shit. Cause if you don't love it, you gonna quit. Early, nigga. And how I do content is how I do sports. I used to play football. You know what I'm talking about? Back when they didn't give a damn. Um, I am the last era of them giving a damn about it, 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 it's being too hot outside. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? That era of football. Refrigeration. So, I'm from the era of this Oklahoma drill time, nigga. Line your bitch ass up and get it cracking. I don't want to hear your head hurt, your back hurt, your leg hurt, your ass hurt, pause. I don't want to hear that shit. Nigga, get that shit cracking. And a lot of y'all niggas was the ones that's running to the back of the line. And that's how I view a lot of content creators, man. Y'all niggas are rather run to the back of the line and hit this shit head first. Fuck. Y'all some back of the line ass niggas. Oh, oh. hey, coach, I'm not what? You what, nigga? It's time to hit. You talking all that motherfucking shit. Oh, motherfucking spring and summer. Now it's time to hit, and you scared to hit. You scared to create. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, niggas are scared to be creative. 
because of what other people might say. That's fucked up to me, my nigga. It's so many niggas out here with great ideas that a lot of y'all niggas are scared to put your ideas out because you found something that's a lot easier. And I get it. I get it. But don't let this shit dampen your creativity, my nigga. Fuck that. Fuck these niggas. Fuck the algorithm, nigga. Everybody want to finesse something, nigga. We're trying to finesse the algorithm, nigga. That's what I'm trying to finesse, nigga. The algorithm. Not no human beings. Not no other niggas trying to get no money. I'm trying to finesse the algorithm. And that's why I, I, I say my my personal beef, my fuel, is that the algorithm got shit all fucked up. And y'all don't even see it because y'all got y'all head, like, it's y'all head is in y'all ass, my nigga. Y'all head is in y'all ass about this shit, fam. Why y'all niggas, y'all don't even see it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even see it, my nigga. Y'all don't even see how they fucking you. Fuck. They fucking you. Fucking everybody. You done bust your ass for this content. A lot of y'all niggas be dying for the content. A lot of y'all niggas ain't got shit to say when y'all be dying for this shit. A lot of y'all niggas be want to fight and argue and, and scratch and all this shit for crumbs on the fucking dollar, nigga. So can't nobody tell me how to maneuver and how to move when you don't create like I do. A lot of you niggas cool for the content. Cool for the money. I'ma always be able to go get some money for this shit. But I never cool for it. I never cool for it. And one of the main reasons why is because I got three little big headed ass kids that look just like me. Watching. Y'all forget about the babies that's watching this shit. A lot of y'all niggas be complaining about age restrictions and all this shit. A lot of a lot of the shit that y'all doing needs to be age restricted. Cause it's not educational. Niggas ain't learning shit. I'll be damned if one of, if some of this shit pop up. No, bro, bro. Come on, my nigga. But y'all not ready to have that conversation yet. And I get it. And one of these days, we're going to have that conversation. And whenever y'all ready, y'all let me know. Hey, true, we're ready for a conversation. Okay, yeah. Hey, well, we can start talking about algorithmic racism and all the different shit. But until then, y'all got the game fucked off. And I don't know how a lot of you niggas go to sleep with your name fucked up. On life, on the internet, on whatever. Y'all niggas on the bro. So, no, no. I, I, I don't fuck with a lot of y'all and it's not personal. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate a lot of you niggas. I just don't like a lot of you niggas and that's fine. A lot of you niggas don't like me and that's cool. But it's just sometimes y'all don't understand the bigger picture of what's of what is going on. It's a bigger picture involved. And you ain't even the op, nigga. You're not. It's the algorithm. And they fucking you. They fucking you. They fucking us. Balls. A culture. A society. Like, it's getting fucked up out here. It's already fucked up. Go listen to all the musicians and go ask them about the music game and how it used to be then and how it is now. It's the same shit. That's content over there. The talented niggas gotta 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 go separate ways and do all type of wild shit to get found out. And they're making niggas with no talent, niggas with no talent, famous. It's not ironic that the same thing happening in music is happening with everything else, long form content, short form content, all that shit. It's a bigger problem, my nigga. It's a much bigger problem than you even realize. Y'all niggas gotta get up, my nigga. 
do what y'all do, but, but 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 keep in mind the stakes at, at like like keep in mind what the fuck is going on. Y'all niggas dying for this shit, getting beat up for this shit, getting shot, getting the argument, raising the blood, like going to the hot, like y'all niggas doing a lot of wild shit for nothing. Not for nothing, for, for nothing. For nothing, my nigga. For nothing. For nothing, dog. There is room for everything, or at least it, 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 it used to be. That's my whole thing with this shit, is there is no balance. There's a reason why Barry and, 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 and Jerry Springer and Steve Wilcox and all that shit will come on during certain times. One o'clock, two o'clock, twelve o'clock, all that shit. There's lane for everything, like in this channel, like this channel, like the channel for sports, the channel for the dumb shit. If you want sports, go to ESPN, Fox Sports, all that shit. If you want the ratchet shit, go Zeus and VH1, all that shit. If you want the animal shit, National Geographic. Discovery Channel, if you want crime, murder, mystery shit, go to ID, A and E, all that shit. You want news? Go to NBC, ABC, uh, like all that shit. It's different lane for everything. And nobody has to step on each other's toes. Nobody has to hate. Everybody's journeys will be different. But a lot of y'all niggas don't understand that. That they are closing these gaps between having lanes for everything and they funneling everything to be one motherfucking way. They funneling everything to be one motherfucking way. Especially for black content. They'll show you long face ass Shamal or Four Corn face ass Nettle. And, 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 and the other nigga before some niggas with some real talent. And I ain't just saying me. I'm saying the nigga with real talent. That'll show you them niggas. Get some more nigga. I'm gonna fucking time. I'm gonna about no twisted body bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna. Hey, hey, bro, 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 man, that shit is weird. That shit is awful. The, the, bro, I don't, bro, we don't condone that. I'm, I know I'm a. I'm a, I'm a young nigga, but I was raised by old law people who follow the old laws, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit is not cool with me. A lot of that shit is not fly. It ain't funky enough for me. A lot of that shit is not what it is, my nigga. It's just not. And I'm willing to say something so I catch the, the, the back end of a lot of shit. And I get that. I don't give a fuck. But I'm telling you how it is being a smaller content creator trying to create content and trying to push the content and the things that content creators are up against. And on top of that, it's just you got to create some dope shit. A lot, of, uh, a lot of shit that I've created might have been dope to me, but you gotta go find the audience for it. You gotta go do this and do that. Like, but in the midst of that, it's a royal rumble full of fuck shit going on. So anybody that's pushing real content, it don't matter how you do it. And I ain't saying real content as it's gotta be serious, all that shit. I don't, I don't give a fuck about what you do. It's it's being able to understand the lanes that this shit how it goes and being able to understand that they trying to merge all this shit together and it don't fit together my nigga it's the reason why it's a thousand fucking channels on a TV everything has a lane everything has a place nigga when they run track they don't run track just hey everybody go out there and just be no everybody got a lane and you gotta stay in it and you have to also you gotta you have to understand the rules of the lane that you in. Like, I understand it. My lane is different. I'm pushing mental health, other shit. I'm trying to infuse it in with arts and gaming and all this shit. I know what I'm, I know what I'm trying to, I'm trying to cook up something that the world ain't never seen before. And I'm trying to cook, nigga. 
You hear know what I'm saying? And in the last two years, I finally experienced growth, compensation for my content. And no, all right, man, this shit's going somewhere. I sent my shit out. I'm getting feedback on my shit. Say, my man, do this, do this, do that. And I'm constantly building. I'm constantly putting it in. That's why I don't give a fuck. I'm, whatever I got, I'm dying empty, nigga. I'm dying empty. Every creative idea that I got, I'm getting it out before I die, nigga. Whether it pop or not. Every creative thought that I got, I'm dying empty, nigga. Once again, it's like football, nigga. I don't have no regrets playing football, not playing football, whatever it is, because the last time I played, nigga, I left it all on the field. Whatever my best was, I left it on the field. Satisfied. Did what I did. Yeah, I had some more in me to go play college ball, but I didn't. Didn't work that way. Guy had different plans for me, my nigga. Cool with that. But the last time I stretched the pad zone, I had everything I put into it. My best was done, nigga. Every game, every play, every practice is done, nigga. And never did nothing after that. Satisfied, I put them clicks up, nigga. Same thing with content. I'm gonna leave this whole empty. I'm gonna give it everything I got. Cause I don't know when, like, bro, we, like, it's, I don't know, but I know for some of y'all, y'all don't take that shit serious enough, and that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, for the niggas who do, don't compare yourself to the niggas who do. So we're in a whole different ball game. Our mindset is different. And it's best if you don't have that mindset to get the fuck out the way and make room for niggas who do. Or niggas is gonna mash you, nigga. Pause. Mash the fuck up at you. There is no ifs, nigga. It's, a, it's here I am and here I go. Again, like football. If that whistle ain't blown to, to get in the play and you standing around, I'm going to clean your shit, nigga. Because after all, it is competition. Whether you know it or not. That's how I think about it. That's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of y'all niggas, I don't see y'all niggas change. Y'all niggas ain't the same. And I, am, I, don't, I don't mean that in a good way. I remember seeing some of you niggas when y'all first plugged. A lot of y'all niggas was making beats and doing music and, 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 and making art and shit like that. Man, you niggas gossiping all day. It's not good, fam. And if I didn't fuck with a lot of y'all, I wouldn't even... I, 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 man, bro, I, I, I wouldn't even say shit to a lot of you niggas. Not just on YouTube or on Twitter or, or, or anything. That's the fucked up part about it. Because I would hope if I do some shit and one of my niggas say, say, fam, this is woo 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 And he look at it different, like, oh, okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've seen people who came on the internet trying to say, yeah, I'm going to do this and do that. And don't, do this, and, and don't keep their word. All I'm saying is this, man. It's fucked up out here, man. I know for a lot of y'all, it's gonna go over y'all head like a lot of shit, like a lot of the shit that I say or do, and, and I understand that. But y'all just gotta understand that it is a bigger picture. It's it, it's a whole lot bigger than a lot of y'all really even realize, fam. It's 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 deeper. It's deeper than content that shit going on here, bro. It's deeper than that, bro. It's deeper than that, my nigga. It is deeper than that. You worried about content creators. I'm worried about the nigga who is putting the program in the, in the computers or wherever the fuck they put that shit in. And that's the algorithm. That nigga. Who is that nigga? That's what we got to find out. Who is these niggas that's pressing these buttons to say, this is what's going to be hot. This is what's not going to be hot. Who is that nigga? That's the op, nigga. That nigga over there. This nigga over here at these big companies 
and they watching you niggas. Best believe they watching you niggas. Okay, this is some low vibrational shit. We gonna push this shit a thousand percent. We gonna push this shit as the uh, recommended and all this shit. Who who is pressing the bro? I don't know. Anyway, it's Friday. That's my word. I'm gonna start right now. This gonna be an hour long video, and I'm gonna cut it short. That's all I got to say for right now. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's bigger than everything that you realize. It is bigger than that, my nigga. Don't just use left part side of your brain. Use the right part too, nigga. And think, nigga. Think about this shit. Not just you and your content, but everybody else in the landscape of content. All content, whether it's art, whether it's music, poetry, dance, all this shit. Think about the arts. A lot of these niggas ain't from the arts. I'm from the arts, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like the, the whole landscape of how we view content and what they show and what they don't show and how much shit that we have to sift through, how much bullshit that we got to sift through to find the real shit. Trip, man. Let's go over the fucking book, nigga. Uh.